Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, please smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings. A uh, personal reading link is in the description box below. And uh, I am running a special until Halloween, so do hop on that. If you are needing a reading, I have quite a few discounts. All right, so let's get into this. We're going to look, like I said, at the week ahead. And this is going to be October 28th through November 4th. I'm sorry, November 3rd. My goodness. So we'll see what messages. What the heck is going on here, Virgo? You got some messages here. Okay. Hmm. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What is going on with Virgo for this week ahead? All right, last but not least. Okay. Wow. All right, Virgo. So you're starting this week with move on. Move on, girl. Move on, baby. Someone is unavailable. Waste of time. It's over. So something's going on this week where, you know, you obviously got to take a look at something um, or uh, relook at a situation where maybe you, uh, some of you might come to realize, you know what? I'm not bothering with this anymore. Someone's unavailable. It's a waste of time. It's over. Maybe there's just a reminder. You might get a reminder if you're that person that's like thinking of returning to something. It could be with another person. It could be a job. Um, you could be just trying to get somebody to work for you, <laughs> work a shift for you. Whatever the situation is, I feel like this week you come to terms. Okay, let's get a little clarity on this and see what the message is here. Okay, yeah, the Eight of Cups. That's it. That is it. Moving on again. Virgo, strong message for you to keep moving forward. Do not waste your time spinning your wheels. Stop spinning your wheels in the mud, Virgo. Put a little piece of uh, wood under that, that wheel and get some grounding and get moving. You got a king of swords here. So there is some kind of connection. It's, it has to do with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, this is like looking out at the horizon and seeing what could be the possibilities the potential this is n this is not returning or th this is just kind of maybe it's a timeout it might be a timeout for some of you i get it or um i want to say like a trans it's like a transition like uh, putting everything on hold or putting someone on hold and saying let me, let me just see let me just see if there's anything better out there for me. That's kind of like the message that I'm picking up here. Okay. Yeah, so doing, like, I feel this week you're being asked to do a little self-reflection to kind of go inside, see, um, uh, hold on, I just kind of miss. okay. Go inside and uh, with that hermit energy, okay, and just get some clarity here. Okay, look for your personal truth, right? And a lot of it has to do with your passion, but this is about being on fire to move forward, okay? For some of you, this might be a relationship where someone's just not available for a healthy relationship. They're just trying to hit it and quit it, okay? I know that's such an early 2000s thing, but I guess people still say, hey, what do you want? Like, I'm not up to par in all the, on all the uh, lingo of today, but th this is an energy of someone maybe who's in and out of your life, okay they come in on fire with a passion and then maybe they move on and then maybe they return again because sometimes the eight of cups can be a temporary pause where it's like okay everything's on pause and then returning again uh, or someone comes back into your life right so you have that revelation i feel like this week where it's just done one and done okay and you realize that you need to actually pack up your bags and hit the road toad and i feel like if that is something that you're already in this process of doing it's just reiterated again keep moving on keep moving forward don't stay where you are because there's nothing there that's what i'm hearing there's nothing you're trying to get blood from stone virgo you're not you're not gonna get anything from from a stone even when i look at this this king of swords look at all the gray okay you may need to gray rock somebody Look at all the stone. This person, this King of Swords, I'm just going to tell you, um, for some of you, could be just very cold. 
It's just like a like Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. It's just cold. It's just cold. There's nothing there. There's no warmth. And I'm not saying, I don't want to knock um, the air signs because I don't generally feel like, you know, everybody's got feelings and emotions. But something going on with this particular person, whether it's their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, it doesn't matter, that they are just void, maybe of empathy, or uh, they're just stone cold, man. Stone cold. They might even have a pot belly. Stone cold. This person, yeah. So you have some kind of an awakening here, this karma, um, in the sense of, I mean, I know it's this karma, but it's 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 more in the, like it's a final judgment here, or it's a reiteration of what you already know. Um, and for some of you, this is the final decision. This is a wake-up call. This is no going back. You are not returning to a person, place, or thing that you can't extract any warmth or empathy or love from okay um even if this is like a job uh, a job situation or a boss who's like not listening to you like there's nothing there okay so your message here for this week is keep on keeping on keep moving forward close the door on something even if for some of you you just got to take that pause okay and maybe that's the decision you know take your time out if that means you need to take time out for five years hey you take whatever time you need from something and look out onto the horizon okay because there's more out there it's, this is more to do with your life's purpose like what are you doing with your life what are you here for all right so you also have liar so i'm loving this reading so far <laughs> it's so freaking positive be careful of somebody sneaky you got a pinocchio in your periphery okay let's take a look Somebody sneaky. What's going on? Ooh, five cups. Hmm. I'm going to just say, I feel like <laughs> this is all connected. These aren't separate messages. Uh, and it feels like it's connected to this king of swords. It doesn't have to be, like I said, they're, they don't have to be an air sign. But they come across just to me as an energy. It's very cold. All right, this person's a liar. Okay? And you're, you're waking up to this. So with that five of cups here, this kind of feels like you might be feeling like abandoned or unloved. Somebody lied to you or lies to you this week. And there's this feeling of grief that you might experience, um, especially if you're realizing that you need to move on. This person's a liar. So you, yeah, are you going to go through a little bit of the emotion? Sure. If you're human. I mean, it, unless you're a narc. If you're a narc, you're not going to go through nothing. You're going to just pop on to the next supply which is what those types of people do um but i feel like you have emotion i feel like you have empathy i feel like you have like deep feelings yeah look at that the ace of one it's, it's just you get inspired this situation actually inspires you to get in touch with your emotions your feelings so listen i want to say this right virgo if you're going through some kind of shift here, some change, you're letting somebody go, you find out they're a liar, um, or you just kind of, it, it comes in waves, and if you've already been through this and it's coming back around again, I feel like getting in touch with your emotions, like go into like your, your private, put on your headphones. If you need to grieve something, um, allow yourself that, that grief, that moment of grief, however long, like you could spend an hour listening to sad songs. It's about getting in touch with your feelings and your emotions. All right. And take that time out. It's really important not to suppress your feelings. Um, you can feel them. You can cry. You can, um, reminisce, um, and, and get all that emotion. It's all emotional junk that you need to release here. Okay, so I know a lot of people that, you know, you go through different stages in the grief grief stage, right? So you get angry, so you want to play that, like, head-banging anger music or, you know, um, and this is in relation to music. Or maybe you want to play some sappy songs because you're sad and you're missing somebody or you're just feeling, feel your feelings. This is what I feel you need to do. When somebody lies to you, that's just a form of gaslighting. And I feel like whoever this person is, um may have caused you to close up your emotions okay may have caused a lot of anxiety and you might be feeling the anxiety about this but this is this is so cathartic for you to feel the feelings because once you have a stimulating uh song or or, or or a talk talking to somebody once you allow those feelings to come up it's not weak it's not being vulnerable it's being extremely strong 
to allow those feelings to come up so you can process them, all right, and minimize the anxiety. The anxiety comes from the suppression of the emotions. So if you're feeling this anxiety, you got to let those feelings out and express them, right? It's just like tears. Tears are cleansing. So have the tears if you must. You don't have to put it out there for the world. Do your have your tears in private if you must or with someone you trust there's someone you feel comfortable with this will help you release and and move on even more okay so yeah look there's some kind of betrayal i'm sorry that the reading is going like this but i mean i'm just shuffling and this is what's happening so i feel like this it feels like it's really important for someone there's a feeling of betrayal um in a, a relationship or a family relationship even it could be or it just could be a um, personal or a work relationship whichever it is if there was a, like a community feeling with someone maybe you're in a cult and you're leaving the cult i mean wow or if something felt like you're in a cult something that felt really amazing but turned out to be a fraud okay that ten of cups energy is all about happiness and joy um, it's all about love, you know, Virgo, uh, or feeling like you have all this love and support and then needing to leave it because something here was not real, I feel, like it was something fake. And I feel like you got, like, maybe you got trapped in some kind of spider's web or something. Happy Halloween, by the way. Um, but the Ten of Cups is like releasing all this with the Ten here, releasing the anxiety and the emotions actually brings you happiness because when you don't release it it suppresses you right okay and i feel like letting go of a liar whoever they are to you is actually going to bring you and reorient you to um, the real love the real joy the real support the real people going forward in your future it, you're going to be happy again okay you will you will but you gotta you gotta process the grief you have to it's imperative. It's a moral imperative. You have to process your grief. You also have caution. Finding out more information. Let's take a look here. Um, be careful. I'm hearing um, about what you're seeking. If you're if you're seeking to get more information. Um, okay. So I'm saying. If you're if you are seeking information on someone who's a liar, maybe to clarify that they are, or to just get like actual validation that someone's a liar, um, you know, don't overwork yourself with this because the more you find out, the more it actually might hurt you if you are trying to get uh, release the emotions here. But let me just take a look. Also, don't overwork yourself, right? Oh, okay. So they're saying. You know, in the process of your grief, right? I feel like you don't have to spend the next week crying every single day. You can kind of delegate certain times of when you're really just going to sit with your feelings, right? You don't, because I know like some Virgos, oh, well, most Virgos just kind of like to keep everything, um, like their emotions inside. I'm feeling like don't overdo it, right? It, now, and so what I'm like, if you want to have a week of crying, go ahead, right? That's up to you. Um, but don't make it to the point where you can't function in your everyday life. I feel like set aside some time, even like if you're working with a therapist or maybe a physical trainer, like don't overdo anything right now as you're going through something here this week. Okay, you have the lovers. Some of you might be finding out that somebody lied and betrayed, and maybe there was like somebody else in the picture. Okay, let me see. <clears throat> yeah, maybe they ended something, or they brought somebody else in like a third party, or maybe there's a little triangulation kind of situation going on. Um, that, I feel like, was coming out of this insecurity whoever this person is um they did not process their emotions they just skipped right on to another person or they just brought up to the front someone that they had already been um screwing or screwing around with this person and like i feel like that's the reason um or you might find out that this is what they're doing 
listen, Virgo, I feel like you need to understand something about this situation here with the Eight of Swords showing up with this person. Um, this this is someone who's like a self imposed prisoner. They're a sabotager. They play the victim. It's all it's all for show. It's all a facade. Okay, and if you are researching this and convincing yourself that in your grief that somebody replaced you because you weren't good enough, that's that's a bunch of malarkey. Okay, and that will cause you to feel like a victim, and you're not a victim here. Okay, you're not. It, it's devil energy with the shadow side. It's devil energy. And I feel like you need to separate what somebody's doing from your worth and your value. Okay, if you find out that they've maybe replaced your position with someone else, so they had somebody lined up, and you leave, and then they replace you immediately, like as if you were like a piece of baloney. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I just, it's important not to let that define who you are and your worth because you're not. Whoever you're dealing with here or no longer dealing with is, they can't be alone because they're extremely insecure. This is, I don't know if you guys, this is the damsel in distress laying down on the tracks. And like the rope that is wrapped around this person is like not even tied in a knot it could they could easily remove that rope and just get up off the tracks okay but they're not they're crying for help they're poor me victim mentality and you need to be above that okay you need to not let because what they're projecting there is gonna somehow rub off on you like a virus and you need to understand that you're not a victim you're not throwing yourself on the tracks seeking an emotional rescue this person is okay so don't let that hop on over to you right <laughs> there's a tower it's an ego thing okay don't be that person you're not that person okay virgo if you get yourself in that position this week where you feel like a victim that's fine you can feel what you're feeling but feel it okay and then destroy it right and come up out of the water and breathe again this is what i feel like this message i don't know where it's coming from okay health issues Health issues. Oh, wow. Okay, so any health issues that are connected to this reading, are connected to this these messages here, are going to shift and change and get better. I don't know exactly what that means. It could have something to do with you um, taking some kind of risk um, or taking a gamble here. I feel like Virgo... I feel like whatever health issues you're feeling at this time that are connected to this, they're just going to shift out. Things are going to improve. So if you're, you know, some of you might already be going through this, and this is just in continuation of this situation here. Um, your health could be affected by something here, this, whatever's going on. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, you, you maybe you come across like some kind of uh, magic physician or someone that's just... They give you this uh, this ability. They, they do some kind of magic. I don't even know. <laughs> to turn things around. Like there's somebody here who helps you greatly this week. To really shift into this. Oh, wow. This is like some kind of support. Maybe support group of some sort. I feel like this is a real therapeutic reading. And uh, I was kind of hoping maybe we could see how you're if you're going to get a new job or if that document's going to be signed. This feels more like a, a relationship thing this week. Um, there's a lot of support for you in regards to your physical health, your mental health. Um, you have people around you here, Virgo, that I feel like are really going to help you um, with dealing with some kind of um, very toxic, abusive kind of situation here. Right, and that's what the, the the or at least some kind of uncertainty. Okay, some kind of a, a uncertain situation that affects your health actually because you connect with one, two, three, a group of people or um, a, a health center or something along those. I mean, wow, they they figure out what the problem is. They tell you straight up what's going on. And they help you cut out the uncertainty. And the, yeah, so this kind of feels mostly like maybe some friends or um, 
a circle of support that you have. They celebrate you. And they help you to celebrate yourself. Yeah, right? They give you something to ponder here. Hmm, I don't know what you're going through exactly, Virgo. But I feel like there's a, there's a need here. Um, if you're having some kind of... if you're Sometimes your mental and emotional can affect your physical. It, it, not oh, sometimes, almost always, depending on your, your mental state and your attitude. But your physical body um, will tell you that something's going on, even if your head can't sort of make sense of things, right? So you want to be in the best physical health you can be, right, as well. But I feel like you you get into this position where you actually begin to consider things or see things from a different angle um, because something was delayed uh, as far as maybe a belief system. You were thinking something a particular way for a long time. Maybe you doubted yourself or you doubted something, but you actually come, even with the judgment, even to this big reveal here this week, where it's like, oh my gosh, wow. You realize something that's been bothering you mentally and emotionally? That's the reason for your physical ailment. That's what I'm hearing. It's, ble it's, it's bleeding down into your physical self. Your physical stress and ailments are connected to what's happening in your mind and in your heart. And, and somebody either reveals that to you or, or a group of people or people who are supportive of you. And then you begin to really start healing, right? All right. And the last, you do have gambling. Problems with addiction or gambling. Some of you were dealing with someone who was a gambler. Or they had addiction issues. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Dropping them coins in the coin slot. Either an actual slot machine casino gambling or um, not being able to pay their child support because they're spending all their money or they're the type of person who is breadcrumbing a lot of people. They have an addiction or uh, addiction to breadcrumbing people. <laughs> what the hell's that? Let's see. Some of you might even question your like if you have an addiction issue or if you have a gambling problem maybe you start looking at that um something along the lines like why do i take these gambles and risks with people who are no good for me you might be asking that question why do i why do i go for positions or jobs that i know are not going to bring me my that are not going to bring me my best not going to serve my highest need right okay let's take a look Oh, okay. So this is a total love bomb thing. You got somebody here who does this love bombing thing, okay? Now, I know I sound like I'm talking about an NARC. I'm not specifically doing that, right? Because I don't really have anything here that's giving me those vibes. I mean, if the emperor showed up in the reverse, yeah, but I'm not discounting it either. So you can make that determination. But I feel like you have this, maybe you come to realize you deal with someone that's kind of like a prince or princess charming. They always kind of maybe just, or maybe now you're starting to become aware of that and in your future relationships, falling for this little okey doke of these future promises that don't really pan out or people that come on very strong and, um, you know, the high people who like gamble, right? Um, they create what's called, um, like, it's almost like the gambling itself creates this intermittent re reinforcement where it's like, okay, right now I'm not doing so good, but next time I'm going to, it's going to be great. Next time it's going to be great. You got to be careful of that energy and be careful that you're not doing that to yourself. Um, I feel like you, you, there's some kind of realization about either this within yourself or other people that come towards you in a romantic sense where they they charm if somebody has this charm thing but as i always say like they come in and they make these grandiose promises you know uh we're gonna you know we're gonna do this we're gonna build this business like this is someone who's just all talk the knight of cups is is on a horse and horses are meant for moving they don't stay still right this is just this is just an energy of someone who, as they're traveling down the road, they charm everyone. And they make these grandiose promises of long-term security, 
of um, we're going to have this business, we're going to put all this money, we're going to buy a house. Like they say all these charming type things, but there's no follow through. Okay, with these types of people, you know, or when I when we retire, or there's all this inheritance, there's all this money, you know, I'm gonna leave you, or you know, we're gonna just leave a legacy. Uh, this is the greatest love relationship ever. You are the most like I don't know. There's some some kind of energy here like you gotta pay attention to. Okay, this page of swords. All right, so this person again, they just say a lot of things. Okay, that um, pages can't back up. But I do feel like too, you got, uh, you're, so I see you also being very curious in yourself about like why, asking yourself questions about why you accept these, I want to say, and I'm not saying all of you do this, but maybe ask yourself why you accepted these breadcrumbing type romantic proposals. Okay, if you're if you're that Virgo that you know, look, everybody gets excited when a relationship is good, right? It doesn't you know when you start off and you're meeting somebody and things are going really well, that, that's normal. That doesn't make someone. Uh, narky, okay, but it's the intention behind it, and I feel like. I feel like there's somebody here who kind of did a little scouting of you to see how much they could persuade you, like a little spying on you. Now, that's something you might come to realize about someone here. Uh, and that's a weird message, but I'm just going to leave that right there. Let me see what else. Oh, yeah. Look at all this page energy. Now, I don't... I, I feel like this is a very immature. This is someone who um, I want to say this is someone who uh, wrote checks that their ass ass can't cash. <laughs> That's what I feel. So this even in a work situation, um, maybe you get a bonus or a promise of. Um, increased wage of something in that uh, or something like that and then they couldn't cash it the, the 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 check or something at the bank because there was no money there um there's a little bit of a swindler energy here and you know virgo i feel like look i love this because i was thinking to myself what would your advice be um your advice is to be true and if you're gonna if you're in this position here Virgo and I'm just gonna say this like if you're going through this grief process with someone and you um are feeling like you know I'm gonna take revenge no well if you must Virgo I th I think your message here is serve that revenge as a dish served cold okay look at you with the nine of pentacles and let the truth come out and what's the truth Virgo is you you are the truth with that nine you are the one who has all the financial gains. You are the one who is the... See, why would somebody go out of their way to do these types of behaviors or act this way towards you, okay? I feel like you come to realize it's because that's your energy. Now, you might not believe that you are um, the shit, so to speak. You might not believe that. You might be... Maybe you're in that place in your life where you're like, I mean, I don't know. I feel like they do that to everybody. Well, they do, okay? But you have to understand, these types of people, they only go for the ones, they want the challenge. They want the ones who are the strongest. The ones who are weak, yeah, they'll take what they can get from them, but they get bored with them, okay? You are actually a lot stronger than you know, and I feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit, and that's okay, it'll come in time, but I feel like you're going through some kind of process, um, of elimination they're saying process of elimination this week and you must continue forward with us that's the bravest thing you can do virgo the bravest thing you can do is to eliminate this energy from your life and love yourself okay you got a king of cups here you also had a fire sign so the, and, and, a, and an air sign so there might be some kind of connection here right um, looks like you you choose the path of breaking somebody's heart, Virgo. <laughs> you choose the path of separation. 
breaking up of that's i'm hearing you saying oh that's your loss not mine it's not me baby it's you <laughs> So you kind of get into that energy this week, right? So actually it starts off kind of like, what the F? But then it just kind of, pro you process stuff here. And it feels like things improve as you get towards the end of the week. I feel like you come to terms with your value and your worth of who you are. But this comes as a result of you grieving something here, allowing yourself to grieve. Yeah, you had a snake, snake energy, competition, enemy, the other woman, the other man looking over your shoulder. Okay, you got to bite the head of the snake off for a real. You can't chop off its tail. You can't, because it'll just, I don't know what snakes do, but I, I don't know if they regrow. I don't know if they just, it doesn't kill it. You got to bite the head of the snake. Crush the head of the snake is what I'm hearing. Somebody was competing with you. They weren't really trying to be um a friend they were more uh, being an enemy and this person is watching stalking they're hiding they're hiding behind something so that you can't see that they're watching you is what i'm hearing which you know if this is your boss like at your job or your company <laughs> i don't know i feel like the mess it's kind of weird but i feel like the message here is for you to um Build in silence and keep yourself private in some way. It's just like when you're going into a war, you can fight a battle. You never, you know, loose lips sink ships. So you don't ever in in military. You don't you don't give the uh, uh, your opposing. You don't give the opposer. You don't let them know what your next step's going to be here, Virgo. Yeah, you got somebody here who's looking at your pictures, missing you. This person's addicted to you. They're heartbroken. Looks like you're, yeah, like I said, you're you're ending something here and they're not happy with it. They're not happy with it. And as a matter of fact, they might even try to reach out to you, Virgo. They might try to reach out to you. Now they could try to reach out to you just to fire you from the job again. It is a long-term kind of thing. Um, or just to uh, dump you if you dump them. You know, I don't know what the deal is with this person. You know, I mean, obviously, there's an emotional block, like I said in the beginning, as somebody who's cold. They get no empathy, Virgo. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to try, perhaps this week. You know, if they have no way to access you, then obviously, then they could try to get around that, but... Um, in some form, in some way. But if they have a way to access you, um, they'll try. And maybe you don't, I mean, I don't know if you're going to respond or not, but they might just want to talk, try to meet up, have some kind of conversation to talk to, talk to you. Uh, can we just be friends, I'm hearing? Or if like it's a job or an employer, you know, like, um, why would an employer be so obsessed with you? I mean, most likely if they are, is because they can't find anyone to replace you. That's just as good. Um, so they might try to call you back for the position. Okay. I don't know. Something, I don't know if it, it's that, that black and white. It feels like something at your job or something must have happened. You might just have like a boss who's really, ugh, they're sicko. There's something at your, at your job happened. I don't know if it's, uh, maybe they just, uh, somebody was being really sneaky at your job. And you come to terms with this this week. Okay, self-worth, value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Virgo, self-indulgence this week, come on. Light those candles, fill up that bath. Do something that makes you happy. Try to get away from this backstabbing energy. Okay, do something that fills up your soul. Go have some delicious chocolate cake. Make yourself feel good. Do, but try to do things it feels like that are going to give you long-term happiness. Read that book you wanted to read. Like I said, take that time out this week, that pause, or, or just to remember to keep moving forward. 
yeah look at this the snake energy keeps coming up here charmed or used enabling boundaries girl with a snake or guy with a snake or just a snake energy you got to put those boundaries up or you get come to realize you need to keep them up even if you are in communication with this energy you still need to have your boundaries. That's about you. That's pretty much, that's not putting boundaries up to say to someone they can't cross. That's putting them up for yourself to say, I won't cross my boundaries. I'm not going to cross my boundaries. It's not to control them. It's to discipline yourself. Okay, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation. Oh, wow. Good, healthy choices. So, it feels to me like you come to realize, like, man. I can be happy. Love. I can be happy in love and I can be happy in life. Your whole week is, you know, it's funny, you guys, earlier today, um, I was sitting outside and at the park and a beautiful monarch butterfly just flew right down, right next to me. And I was looking up the monarch butterfly spirituality symbol, and it was all about transformation and change. It's also about ancestors revisiting to kind of let you know. And I, I don't feel like for me it, it personally, but I was just thinking about that in general. But it is about transformation and change. You go through a huge transformation. It's like um, a, another level to the game of life. You reach a new level this this week. And it's positive for you, you know? So it's kind of like as, you, as you're as you cycling out whatever you were dealing with last week, this new week has you one-upping, reaching a new level <laughs> about yourself. It feels like mostly about yourself. And, and this feels like resilience and it feels like um, overcoming. That's what it feels like to me. Whether that's in your love life, your work life, your um, in your health, in your emotional energies, your mental energies, you you overcome like a really big hurdle. And I'm hearing game over. Game is over for you, you know, Virgo. Like you're you 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 reach that you reach the final level here this week, and game over. All right, let's get some Chinese signs to see what your Chinese sign is and or the person that you could be dealing with here. Now, for some of you, this could be really simple. This is just a process of motion of some game you're playing, video game. You know, the messages are very fluid and they can apply. They're very general, okay? Remember, it's a general reading. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box. You can reach out to me personally and we can, you know, work through those things for you. Okay, Year of the Monkey year of the tiger year of the horse year of the dragon rooster pig ox and dog okay so that could be you like i said it could be your person it could be just one of you or zero it doesn't mean it's not your message all right let's see what other messages you have here for you messages of love Okay, lean on your inner circle during this time, Virgo, wherever they are. If you don't have an inner circle, create one. Okay, you may get an apology from someone this week. True love, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. In the context of this reading, that's about yourself. Unconditional love for yourself, okay? You may get an apology from someone, too, who tells you that you're their true love, yeah, because of longing for you. <laughs> now, if this is your job, I mean, some of you might have like a boss or a partner in a in a in a fi financial position. They're kind of playing games. I'm just hearing, They're kind of playing games, because like, what's the true love thing about? Like, you're the best. We want you to come back. I, I, let's let's try to restart. Um, you know, this partnership, it, it may be void of romance and just strictly about money and, and work and things like that. But I don't know. I feel like you need to kind of sift through this if that's your situation. You can be completely vulnerable with me, Virgo. 
we just open up everything happens for a reason and this is why we're going through this mm. now with a snake everything happens for them whatever appeases them okay i feel such remorse and regret for the way i treated you you can trust me you can't trust the snake virgo you cannot trust the snake never ever ever i don't care how pretty they look this person this is like lipstick on a pig you cannot trust the snake don't care how good they look you have learned the spiritual lesson are you learning it this week and just understand that this you got to be the master of your domain <laughs> think of that seinfeld episode as soon as i said that virgo be the master of your domain domain i'm out <laughs> yep you have that awakening virgo oh yeah yep it has to do with a past life love okay so you've been through this before it's either a past lover or this past this is a situation that's replaying again for you to break this soul contract this is the lesson breaking this soul contract it's been presented to you as a test of your faith and your strength and your boundaries all right so we're going to take a real quick look you know what let me just let me just grab a couple of these burning heart love oracle cards that i have received i just want to i just want to put a couple in here because i'm not fully going to use them yet you got to figure out how i'm going to use them but let's take a look okay your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in oh my god virgo okay my god i get all these strange messages let's see i want to kiss you oh somebody's obsessed i want to make things right okay virgo mm -mm -mm. i need to work on myself i'm trying to clear my head i'm in love with you okay who's this for i'm caught up in a karmic relationship yeah see whoever this so this feels like it's taking it back to the other person they're getting their karma with somebody else whether that's someone they hired or another partnership that they brought in for some kind of job situation that you left or you know contract that you were involved in um that's karmic things aren't working out the way they expected maybe somebody tried to replace you things aren't working out the way it's karmic so somebody's getting theirs i have been working on myself okay yes but have you been working on your emotion emotional healing I'm, I'm saying this to the other person for you and you asking them like okay so have you been working on your emotions have you been healing and growing and taking accountability and accepting your role in things like what do you mean well i've been working on myself to manifest you virgo so i'm doing a little some magic tricks to try to manifest you back into my life because no one else can tame my demons like you virgo oh my goodness you quiet my demons virgo and when you're gone they they come back like you're the demon fucking whisperer like what the hell's that shit tame your own damn demons go get some help i've been watching your socials and admiring your pictures okay virgo virgo's the demon whisperer holla <laughs> Virgo's out here dancing with the devil. I'm holding on to the memories of us. Oh my God, these cards, these messages. I realize the mistakes. I realize all the mistakes I've made. <sighs> I want to make you happy. I miss your smile. I miss your smile. Do, 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 do. I regret what I did to you. All right. Anyway, that's that. Right, let's see what other message there is here for you, Virgo. What other message for Virgo? All right. A windfall of abundance is coming towards you. Wise counsel, a good fortune, an exciting career opportunity comes in. A lucrative contract gets signed. Significant purchases like a home or a vehicle this week. Nice. See, whenever I look at this picture, I, 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 this, this house, it always gives me this fresh prince of Bel Air jive. <laughs> 
<laughs> Always. I'm waiting for Will Smith to pop out of here like the taxi drops him off and he's in his colorful clothes and his yellow hat. <laughs> okay, let me see. What else, Virgo? Okay, an amazing opportunity comes, Virgo. Be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now is the time to take action. Do what you're passionate about. I love swimming, you guys. I'm a swimmer. I am a swimmer. I get the cap, the goggles. I got the fins. And I swim every single day for about an hour. And I am absolutely addicted. And I get like these headphones that play MP3s because Bluetooth doesn't work underwater. But I found out if I put like my rubber ski, uh, my rubber cap on and it blocks out the water, it actually works for Bluetooth. But I get my music. It is the most meditative, uh, relaxing, physical, uh, healthy energy that I've ever been involved in. So like if you are on my Facebook and you will see me posting pictures of the pool and like there's one of I got had a friend of mine had an um, underwater camera and took a photo of me swimming like you can go over to my Facebook and check that out if you would like to but I feel like it's very cathartic that's my passion so what's your what are you passionate about Virgo and whatever it is just do that keep doing that of course tarot card reading is also my other passion justice be impartial and objective stand up for what you believe try to see all sides of a situation you will win if your position is one of integrity so don't be petty petty and they're saying don't don't get involved in any kind of tit for tat game because that's petty <clears throat> You also have conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama, Virgo, unless the situation is really worth your time. Then stand up for yourself. You're a very ambitious person. And this, looking at this, gives me that um, enter the dragon scene where Bruce Lee was caught in the mirrors. And he was fighting the enemy. I think it's enter the dragon. I can't remember. Anyway, and he was... Um, being deceived by the mirrors it's like a smoke and mirrors kind of thing and the only way he could defeat the enemy was to smash the mirrors smash the smoke of mirrors right there is a very symbolic message in that movie and especially in that scene and it makes perfect sense in context with this reading smash those mirrors okay and then you have falling in love with the resurgence of a romantic relationship forgiveness and the end of challenges exchanging gifts don't give up on people you love okay so i do feel like you'll make a love connection this week and the two of cups is new love this is new love whether this is friendship or romantic okay so it's a very beautiful in the course of your healing and shifting and changing and maybe getting yourself you know connected with others uh maybe making a new friend and, and it's just a very beautiful energy that it feels like it brings it, it kind of like shines light within your heart do you know what i mean where you might be feeling some grief or the the or it's just a dark like i'm hearing dark heart if you have like a dark heart like a little light gets in i love it all right let's get into your charms because like i'm gonna be building like a freaking skyscraper with all these cards out here all right there we go so I saw November, we see August, we see July. Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, and Cancer. Okay. Um, some of you are watching the news, or something's going on in the news. And they're saying Hong Kong. Okay. All right, let's get into this. So I'm seeing Sean... Okay, I'm seeing Emily. Okay, August 30th, we have 70, 1970, 1984. September 15th, September 17th, August 31st, 1963, 1955, or age 55. I, I should just, when I get these higher numbers, it's either the eight, your age or the year of your birth, okay? Uh, September 12th, I hope there's no 12 year olds here, September 11th, 39, 76, 77, September 22nd, or 22, 34, 57, 
45, September 6, and 80. And I'm going to guess that's 1980. And But if you're 80 years old, listen to my readings. Holla. Hello. <laughs> okay. Kiki. I'm hearing Kiki. So we have the letter F. S is in Sam. H E A O Z. N. Two N's. Somebody has two N. Two. Two N's in their name. I K B. We have another Z. So we have two Z's. Somebody has two Z's in their name. We have a T and the letter C. Okay. We have Chuck, Charles. Connie. Okay. We have Frank, Francesca. We have Bonnie. Okay. We have British Columbia. We have New Zealand. We have Finland. Picking up Texas, Colorado, Tennessee, and uh, New Mexico. We have Oregon. Okay. So let's get into your charms. Charms. Okay. So you have love. Beautiful. You also have a lion. Roar. Hear me roar. Somebody's connected to a Leo. Okay. And another horse. We have another horse here. Try and get a couple of charms that are like way under that I did not, I've never had before. Okay, hold on. Try and pick it up. Cheshire, a Cheshire cat I'm hearing, or a black cat. Somebody has a black cat. I'm going to show these to you in a sec. Hold on, there we go. And, okay. I have a, like a partially cloudy day partially cloudy day i'm hearing all right Virgo. so pretty much you have the word love so there is some kind of connection to the written word love like this is i feel like this is something that's uh, written out somewhere so either there's like a love letter that you're receiving someone writes you a love letter or you write one or some lyrics or a poem. There's a love poem. This could be like a, a script written somewhere on um, like on a ring or jewelry or uh, like a tattoo. There's some, or it could also be somebody's name. It could be their last name is love. Okay. Now the other thing also here is a lion. So this is significant. You could be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo as well. Some of you have like a beautiful mane of hair. There is a connection here to a lion um, roaring. This is somebody, I feel like there's a call. Somebody's getting a call. It could be um, like a, from a Leo. A Leo's calling you this week. And again, with the cats. Okay. So you, this feels like this cat is really beautiful. Uh, but it, this is giving me bat vibes. Somebody might be dressing up as like Catwoman or dressing up as like a kitty or a cat for Halloween or, you know, black cats and bats, like it's everywhere, okay? Maybe you're putting a little costume on your cat, but this is a, like, a, it feels for some of you, I'm also picking up like a black cat with white fur on the front of its chest and maybe a little white up here. It's a very beautiful cat though. Could be a Siamese for some of you. Beautiful cat. I just heard the name Herman. Herman. Okay. And then you also have this horse. Now, I know like the past week before, I think there was a whole thing about 
that song Wild Horses from the Rolling Stones, you remember? Or Marion something faithful. Um, it could be playing up again or playing coming back around. You could also just be born the year of the horse. You could be born the year of the cat as well. There is a cat. I think it's called the rabbit though. I, I think it used to be called the year of the cat, but I think it's the year of the rabbit. Um, you, you just... You might be riding horses or maybe you are just on horses. This is very common for you. But some of you, I'm picking up momentum with this. There's momentum, like a powerhouse, like powerful, like horsepower, momentum, moving forward. And there's also something here about like, um, oh, okay. They just said, Virgo, it's all in your perspective. Is the glass half full or is it half empty? How you choose to look at things determines how your life will pan out. It's all in your perspective and your attitude. This is about, and I think, I don't know if I saw this, but yeah, having an optimistic attitude. Not about this person or this situation. You don't need to deal with that. This is about... Having an uh, having a positive a positive outlook, right? So I feel like that's it. I feel like we're just going to move on from that. Again, thank you to those of you who have purchased the gifts in the past couple of weeks. I'm super grateful. You can send me a message at houseovirgo at gmail. Links below, yeah, somewhere in the description box, somewhere on my channel. If you need to send me a message. Yeah, so I'm going to leave that there. Thank you, everybody, for being in the chat. For those of you who are VIP members, as you know, your VIP uh, message for the week will be up tomorrow. So do look out for that. And I will see you all back here uh, tomorrow. Okay? Love I you. I just can't Bye. let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh.